Yo, what's going on ladies and gents? My name is Arbuckle. Welcome back to another video. Today we are once again back on the Black Ops Cold War Beta and I wanted to share with you guys the best class setup for the brand new Krig 6 Assault Rifle. Honestly, I think this might be my favorite AR in the game. I wouldn't say it's the best. I think the AK definitely takes the number one spot for the best AR in the Black Ops Cold War Beta. But the Krig 6 is a really fun gun to use. I've seen a ton of people running around with this thing and uh, I just recently maxed it out and I wanted to share with you you guys what i think the best attachments are to run with this weapon so what you're watching right now is just some gameplay of me demonstrating what this specific class setup is going to play like just so you guys can get a feel for this weapon before you throw on these attachments and try them for yourself make sure that you do have the gunslinger uh, wild card on because we are using every attachment slot and it's definitely going to be worth having so uh, without further ado let's jump into the attachments so if you guys take a look at the attachments the optic that we're using is the mill stop reflex uh, i think this is probably the best reflex out of all of them as most of you guys know that watch my videos i think the mill stop is great because of the 1.37 times magnification whereas a lot of the other little mini reflexes give you a 1.25 so you're getting a little bit more of a magnification boost and it's essentially just a mini reflex so the mill stop is what we're using here the muzzle that we're using is the infantry compensator this is going to give you a 12 percent boost to vertical recoil control now you're losing an 8 percent boost to horizontal recoil control here but we're going to make up for that with an attachment here in a second so the infantry compensator is what we're using here the barrel that we're using is the 16 inch paratrooper obviously the best barrel to use for every ar in this weapon with the 100 effective damage range boost as well as a 40 percent boost to muzzle velocity we're just hurting our movement speed a little bit here which isn't going to be a big deal with an ar uh, so the 16 inch paratrooper barrel the body that we're using is the SWAT 5MW laser. I think this is the best uh, laser to rock with because of the 40% hip fire accuracy boost. Obviously in those really close quarter gunfight situations, if you run around a corner or through a doorway, you're gonna be able to just spray and pray and have a massive boost that hip fire accuracy. So you'll land a lot more of those shots. So the SWAT 5MW laser, the underbarrel that we're using is the field aging grip. This is going to give us a 6% boost to vertical recoil control. It's also giving us a 20% boost to horizontal recoil control. This is going to be the attachment that makes up for that horizontal recoil control that we lost earlier. So the field agent grip is the underbarrel we're using. The magazine we're using is the 40 round speed mag. Again, I think this is the best magazine to rock with with any weapon in this game with the four pros being magazine size, reload speed, starting ammo and ammo capacity. So we're getting really nice boost to that. So the 40 round speed mag. The handle that we're using is the Task Force Rear Grip. With this, we're getting a 25% boost to aiming speed, which is going to be useful with this AR. We're only losing a little bit of sprint out speed here, which again, won't be a huge deal with an AR. But the Task Force Rear Grip. And last but not least, the stock that we're using is the Tactical Stock. I like the Tactical Stock because we're not getting any cons. We're not losing anything with this. We're just getting a 20% boost to our aiming move speed, which is obviously great. But the Tactical Stock here. But I'll give you guys one last look at all the stats and attachments that come with this specific Krig 6 class setup. If you guys have any questions or anything else to add about this specific class setup, please make sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be sure and try to help some of you guys out. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see all you guys in the next video.